Breaking news, 2023 presidency, APC forum rebukes Tinubu over ready to fight dirty comments. Hello, my wonderful people. Even APC has re released a statement with regards to what Ashiwajo Amebola Tinubu said over the weekend. Yes, he was in Oyo State where he went to see traditional leaders and um, at some point, he, whether making jest or real talk, Tinubu made some statements saying, you know what, whatever it takes, I'm ready to fight dirty. I'm going to ensure, okay, that I become Nigerian's president. Come rain, come shine. However way it's going to be, I will become Nigerian's president. Whether you like it or not, I mean, at this point in time, you're liking it or not is inconsequential because I'm already there. That kind of statement. And even APC now is, you know, turning on Tinubu saying what you said is, is unprecedented. You know, they are, they're sending a warning to him. Ooh, this is rather very, you know, uh, not, not, uh, not thought of. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. 2023 presidency, APC Forum rebukes Tinubu over ready to fight dirty comment. Barely a year to the 2023 general election, some leaders and members of the ruling All Progressive Congress APC as are today in Plateau and other states in the northern centre of the country has condemned the statement credited to the national leader of the party and former governor of Lagos State, Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu, that he is ready to fight dirty over his quest to become Nigerian's president. The statement has thrown many wondering what next and how are things going to be if a man is ready to do everything and anything to become the president. They said Tinubu's comment was on becoming and that it was putting not only himself but APC in general in a bad light. Daily Post recalled that Tinubu made a comment when he visited the Oluibadon, Badon designated Dr. Lekon Balugun at his residence in Ibadan, or your state, the capital, on Sunday. But the APC leaders expressed displeasure over APC national leaders' comment, speaking on behalf of the forerunning Jos, Plateau State, the capital. Shehu Ziga said it was it that it that as a party with the matter right now, Tinubu as a party leader should always check his words and deeds so that he does not tarnish the image of the party and loses his chance of ever even contesting. Jiga pointed out that during the administration of President Olusegun Obasanjo and the then ruling People Democratic Party, Obasanjo once made a remark about then for forthcoming election being a do or die and he was rebuked. He said no one should make remark that will heat up the political terrain and create room for violence. He said Tinubu appears to be known for ungreeded ungr remark, adding that his aides and handlers should be, should be safe first and be on their toes so that they should not be allowing him make such derogatory comments, and not only for, the, for him but the nation at, last, at large. A few weeks back, our forum asked Bola Tinubu, the APC national leader and presidential aspirant hopeful for the 2023 general election, to apologize to Nigerians over his comment years back that he does not believe in one Nigeria. Or have you forgotten? In this day, publication of April the 13th, 1997, Tinubu granted an interview in which he was quoted as saying, I don't believe in one Nigeria. And since that interview was has resurfaced as a result of his presidential ambition declaration, people have begun to raise eyebrow, asking, demanding questions about his sincerity and actual intention for the nation. We equally pointed out that many people have been calling and mocking us. The APC is saying that if Tinubu does not believe in one Nigeria, how come he's not believing in the same one Nigeria to the extent that he wants to contest for the president of the country he does not believe in the one Nigeria? And while we are still battling with that issue to see how the air can be cleared and settle the dust, Tinubu again is reported to have said 
in a very nasty way two days back that he's ready to do anything, no matter what it is, to become president. We call on him to always check his words and deed because whatever he says or does will multiple, has multiplying effect on the society and its position and even the presidency he's looking forward to. So APC has sent a note of caution admonishing Tunubu to be careful. Mm, they say she should be very careful because his statement now is is becoming is becoming unbecoming. You know, Tinubu has said that he's ready to do everything, anything, everything, anything <clears throat> to become Nigerian's president. And he said whatever it takes is whatever he will give it. And um, the statement has not gone down well with everyone. As lots of people are wondering what, what next Tinubu will do in order to become Nigerian's president, you know. People are wondering, you know, he's told everybody that they should, they can, they can, they can, whatever they think they should do, you know. Even told the youth, don't, don't, uh, don't be too hasty, oh. relax and sit down, say, because uh, Baba has to go first. After that, too, then you can come on board for, but for now, he said it's after he has had his tenure. So it sounds more desperate. Okay, so it sounds like I just have to get to that seat. But is that all? Just getting to the seat, the ultimate, or is there something you want, you feel you can really, you know, give or bring to the table that will potentially ch channel the nation in the right direction? Is there something that you can potentially bring or do or, you know, something that could potentially change the course of what is happening? Because right now we don't see this thing. We don't see, you know, we, we, we're not sure of what is happening next. OK, or already things are not the way we thought they should be. And um, it, it's it's rather very, very unfortunate that, you know, people believe so much in you. But, but I mean, your disposition and what is coming up does not equate or, you know, line up with what you, what it is. So it, it's a question of are we in the right place? Are we in the right space right now? Are we sure? That this is what it is because first of all nigerians are already saying we don't want elderly people we want young energetic people who are determined you know who are visionary not our grandpas becoming president into this day and age you see so there is really cause for concerns real ones real cause for concerns please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like or share subscribe so you can always get all our latest news because um the elections, uh, more things are going to be unfolding. God bless you. Have a lovely day from us. It's bye for now. Bye.